today we'll be learning about the chapter chemical bonding and their structure molecular structure we'll be studying about what are these chemical bonds that we always talk about what molecular structure do are we actually talking about and what are molecules actually almost everything we see or touch in daily life the air we breathe, the food we eat, the clothes we wear and so on is the result of a chemical bond or more accurately many chemical bonds. The world is generally not composed of isolated atoms. Rather, atoms bond to one another to form molecules and hence chemical compounds. Not all chemical bonds are created equal. Some are weak and some are very strong, a difference that depends primarily on the interactions of electrons between atoms. Depending upon these interactions, molecules of different shapes and geometries are formed. Let us discuss this concept in detail in this module, Chemical Bonding and Molecular Structure. So let's look at our learning objectives in brief. After reviewing this digital content, you will be able to explain Corsa Lewis approach to chemical bonding, draw Lewis structures of simple molecules, differentiate between ionic bond and covalent bond, predict the polarity of covalent bonds with the use of electronegativity values, use VSEPR theory to predict the hybridization, bond angles, and geometry of simple molecules. Explain the valence bond approach for the formation of covalent bonds. Understand the concept of hybridization. Describe the molecular orbital theory of homonyl. So the first topic that we'll be studying in chemical bonding is Coser Lewis approach to chemical bonding, which will give us in some insight about what we are trying to do with chemical bonding. Coser Lewis approach to chemical bonding. Matter is made up of one or different types of elements. Under normal conditions, no other element exists as independent atom in nature except noble gases. The attractive force which holds various constituents together in different chemical species is called a chemical bond. Tendency or urge of atoms of various elements to attain stable configuration of eight electrons in their valence shell is the cause of chemical combination. Kosel and Lewis in 1916 developed an important theory of chemical combination between atoms known as electronic theory of chemical bonding. According to this theory, atoms achieve stable octet when they are linked by chemical bonds. The atoms do so either by transfer or sharing of valence electrons. The principle of attaining a maximum of eight electrons in the valence shell or outermost shell of atoms is known as octet rule. Since we have looked at the approach that was uh, taken into account by Lewis, we will be now studying about Lewis representation of simple molecules. Lewis representation of simple molecules. The Lewis dot structures provide a picture of bonding in molecules and ions in terms of the shared pairs of electrons and the octet rule. The symbol of the element represents the whole of the atom except the valence electrons, that is nucleus, and the electrons in the linear energy shells. The valence electrons are represented by placing dots or crosses around the symbol. The Lewis symbols indicate the number of electrons in the outermost of valence shell which help to calculate common or group valence. The common valence of an element is either equal to number of dots of valence electrons in the Lewis symbol or it is equal to 8 minus the number of dots of valence electrons. We have studied about two important chemical bonding approaches. Now we will be looking at one of the very important topics that is covalent bond. The bond which is responsible for uh, holding many molecules together. 
covalent bond, the bond formed by mutual sharing of electrons between the combining atoms of the same or different elements is called a covalent bond. If two atoms share one electron pair, bond is known as single covalent bond and is represented by one dash. If two atoms share two electron pairs, bond is known as double covalent bond and is represented by two dashes. If two atoms share three electron pairs, bond is known as triple covalent bond and is represented by three dashes. General properties of covalent compounds. The covalent compounds do not exist as ions, but they exist as molecules. The melting and boiling points of covalent compounds are generally low. Covalent compounds are generally insoluble or less soluble in water and other polar solvents. However, these are soluble in non-polar solvents. Since covalent compounds do not give ions in solution, these are poor conductors of electricity in the fused or dissolved state. Molecular reactions are quite slow because energy is required to break covalent bonds. Since the covalent bond is localized in between the nuclei of atoms, it is directional in nature. Coordinate covalent bond Covalent type bond in which both the electrons in the shared pair come from one atom is called a coordinate covalent bond. This bond is usually represented by an arrow pointing from donor to the acceptor atom. Coordinate covalent bond is also called as native bond, donor acceptor bond, semipolar bond or coionic bond. We have studied about covalent bond. Now we will be looking at the formal charge. What is charge? How do they take part in chemical reactions? And why do we need to study charge? Formal charge. The formal charge of an atom in a polyatomic ion or molecule is defined as the difference between the number of valence electrons in an isolated or free atom and the number of electrons assigned to that atom in a Lewis structure. Let us consider the example of ozone molecule. The Lewis structure of this molecule is shown on the screen. The oxygen atoms have been numbered as 1, 2 and 3. The formal charge on the central oxygen atom marked 1 is equal to plus 1. The formal charge marked 2 and 3 are 0 and minus 1 respectively. Hence, ozone molecule along with the formal charges is represented by the given structure. The formal charges help in selection of lowest energy structure from a number of possible Lewis structures for a given molecule or ion. Lowest energy structure is the one which has lowest formal charges on the atoms. This video will bring a brief introduction to what is octate theory and its limitation as of what limits the octate theory further. Limitations of the octet theory Though octet theory has explained few concepts successfully, it has few limitations also. Hydrogen has one electron in its first energy shell. It needs only one more electron to fill this shell because the first shell cannot have more than two electrons. This configuration 1s2 is similar to that of noble gas helium and is stable. In this case, therefore, octet is not needed to achieve a stable configuration. The octet rule cannot explain the formation of certain molecules of lithium, beryllium, boron, etc., in which the central atom has less than 8 electrons in the valence shell. There are many stable molecules which have more than 8 electrons in their valence shells. For example, PF5 has 10, SF6 has 12, and IF7 has 14 electrons around the central atoms. P, S and I respectively. There are certain molecules which have odd number of electrons like nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide. In these cases, octet rule is not satisfied for all the atoms.
it may be noted that the octet rule is based upon the chemical inertness of noble gases. However, it has been found that some noble gases also combine with oxygen and fluorine to form a large number of compounds such as XEF2, XRF2, XEOF2, etc. This theory does not account for the shape of the molecules. It cannot explain the relative stability of the molecule in terms of the energy. Till now we have studied about one bond that is covalent bond. Now we will be studied about two important bonds. First being the ionic bond and the second being the electrovalent bond. Both are similar names for one type of bond. ionic bond or electrovalent bond. The electrostatic force of attraction which holds the oppositely charged ions together is known as ionic bond or electrovalent bond. Ionic compounds will be formed more easily between the elements with comparatively low ionization enthalpy like sodium and elements with comparatively high negative value of electron gain enthalpy like chlorine. A quantitative measure of the stability of an ionic compound is provided by its lattice enthalpy. Lattice enthalpy can be defined as the energy required to completely separate one mole of a solid ionic compound into gaseous ionic constituents. Let us throw some light on the general properties of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds usually exist in the form of crystalline solids. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. These compounds are generally soluble in water and other polar solvents having high dielectric constants. These compounds are good conductors of electricity in the solutions or in their molten states. The chemical reactions of ionic compounds are characteristic of the constituent ions and are known as ionic reactions. In ionic compounds, each ion is surrounded by oppositely charged ions uniformly distributed all around the ion and therefore electrical field is non-directional. We have studied about different kinds of bonds till now. We will be looking at what are the parameters that govern these bonds. So we will be looking at the bond parameters. Bond parameters. The covalent bonds are characterized by various parameters like bond length, bond angle, bond enthalpy, bond order, resonance structures and polarity of bonds. Let us discuss these parameters one by one. But before this, we should have an idea of atomic radius. The radius of an atom differs depending upon whether it is in a bonded or unbonded state. Bonded atoms are pulled closely together and the atomic radius is called covalent radius. On the other hand, in the unbonded state, the attractive forces are much less and the atomic radius is called the van der Waals radius. It is always larger than covalent radii. Bond length is defined as the equilibrium distance between the nuclei of two bonded atoms in a molecule. Bond length is smallest in case of triple bond and it is longest in the single bond. Let us move to another parameter, bond angle. It is defined as the average angle between orbitals containing bonding electron pairs around the central atom in a molecule. It varies with the size of an atom. The strength of an atomic bond is ascertained with the amount of energy required to break it. This energy is called bond enthalpy. The unit of bond enthalpy is kilojoules per mole. In polyatomic molecules, the term mean or average bond enthalpy is used. It is obtained by dividing total bond dissociation enthalpy by the number of bonds broken. The number of bonds between two atoms in a molecule gives the bond order. The bond order, for example, in hydrogen with a single shared electron pair, in oxygen with two shared electron pairs, and in nitrogen with three shared electron pairs is 1, 2, 3, respectively. 
A general correlation useful for understanding the stabilities of molecules is that, with increase in bond order, bond enthalpy increases and bond length decreases. When a molecule cannot be represented by a single structure, but its characteristic properties can be described by two or more than two structures, then the actual structure is said to be a resonance hybrid of these structures. For example, the ozone molecule can be equally represented by the structures 1 and 2 and the structure 3 is the resonance hybrid.